All right. Well, I want to welcome everybody to a special meditation series that honors my mother, your friend, your family member, your sorority sister, your colleague, Teresa B. Garden League. Her heavenly birthday, the 84th heavenly birthday month is in November. Her actual birthday is November the 10th. And this year, I thought, what a way to celebrate my mom that folks could take advantage of. They could watch it. Um, they could participate live or in their own time zone and in their own time and in their own way with a recording. And so thank you for joining me. And I wanted to share what we're going to um, we're going to experience. We'll start with the intention for this series. Then we'll have a mindful moment that just allows us to get grounded together as a community. And then I will share Teresa's guiding scripture. Many of you may know that. And then we'll have a meditation on spirit, which I will share some of the lessons that my mother taught me in my own words. Then we'll close with um, some announcements and a thank you. How does that sound? You can um, say yeah with your fingers or nod or say something in the chat just to let me know that you're you're with me. All right. So the intention for this meditation series, it is from spirit. I'm telling you, spirit woke me up about maybe two weeks ago and put on my heart to have a meditation series that would honor and reflect Teresa's spirit, her love, her wisdom, her life, her service, her legacy, so that we could do all of that together as a community. One of her favorite scriptures that um, guided her in her life was Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. She always would use that in her um, in her bios for her choir. And I think even with Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority, I remember including that. So let's go ahead and get grounded with a mindful moment. Wherever you are, however you are, if you wanna lay down, if you wanna sit, if you wanna stand, you honor your body in this moment. And just take a few moments to come into a comfortable posture. If you're seated like I am, you may want to come to the edge of your chair or the sofa or the bed, or you may want to lean back. Whatever works best for you. Remember, this is your practice. You honor yourself. Now, bringing your awareness to your feet noticing how they are resting on the surface. And recognizing that the feet are resting on the surface that is attached to land. If you're in the Americas, it is indigenous land. That blood runs through many of us of African descent. And so in this moment, we wanna thank our indigenous ancestors and their contributions to the land. If you're in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area, the land is the Piscataway people's land. So just bring to mind gratitude for the indigenous people. And then opening your heart to give thanks for the contributions that our African ancestors have made to the land. And then expanding your heart's gratitude to include the contributions of the Latino, the Asian and the European people and any other people. And then bringing one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart if that feels comfortable. Noticing your heartbeat.
And then joining me in taking three big breaths. We'll inhale first deeply through the nose, holding that breath, and then exhaling. Taking another big breath in, holding that breath and noticing how the belly feels with that breath. And then slowly exhaling. Releasing your hands from the body and taking one last big breath in. And then letting out a nice sigh. And then taking a moment to give yourself a nice juicy hug for showing up, giving yourself some time to honor your spirit, your heart, your mind, your body, your breath, and Teresa's spirit. And doing it all in community. One more big breath in and then out. Releasing yourself from that hug if it feels good. And so meditation, it means so many things to, to folks. And I want to share what it means to me. Meditation is the gift we give to ourselves to befriend our minds. When we meditate, we're becoming aware of what's happening inside and outside of ourselves. My mother used music to meditate. She used prayer. She used sitting in the morning in the silence. She used her bath and body products <laughs> and, and nurturing herself. She used devotional reading. She used her service with her gifts as a teacher, as a principal, as a choir director, as a member and a leader in Sigma Gamma Rho sorority. All of her life was a meditation on spirit. She did her best as a human being to be a child of the most high. She was not perfect. She was Teresa in all of her flavor and colorful glory and creativity. And prayer and meditation were essential to her being. And so tonight, I want to offer you a meditation that's dedicated to all of us, all of us that love her and still connect with her in spirit. So right where you are, closing the eyes if that feels comfortable. If you wanna go off camera, you can, it's fine. This is your practice. Taking a moment to bring both of your hands together and rubbing them. And then placing them over your eyes. And taking three big breaths, inhale deeply, and then exhale, inhale again, exhale, last big breath in, and then exhale, releasing your hands and allowing them to rest on or near the body. And then allowing the breath, this breath of life that is a gift from spirit to be natural and normal, not forcing the breath, just being with the breath as it is. And as we move into tonight's meditation, realizing that you will lose focus. It's normal, it's natural, it's a part of being human. 
So when you notice that you've lost focus, simply use this breath of life you've been given by creator with an inhale and an exhale to come back to the present moment. Remembering that each time that you lose focus, you get a chance to practice your birthright of mindfulness, this ability to be present with everything that is happening inside and outside of you. So bringing your awareness back to your breath. Noticing how the breath feels as it moves in and out of the body. Shifting your awareness to the sound of the breath. And then paying attention to the space in between each breath where the inhalation ends and the exhalation begins. And then appreciating the breath for all that it is. It is with us 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Sometimes we don't even recognize that the breath is always there, keeping us alive. So making the breath your BFF. If you are noticing that you're losing focus, that you're distracted, caught up in the thoughts, the sensations, the sounds from where you are, it's all right. Just take a breath in and a breath out. Maybe even smiling as you're breathing in and out because you're connecting to spirit with your breath. And one of the things that my mother taught me is that spirit is always available to us, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So reach out and connect with spirit, with your breath, and in your own way. When you think about your relationship with spirit, consider the wisdom that Teresa shared. You are the only person who can define and cultivate your relationship with spirit. That means use what works best for you. 
If it's meditation that works for you, meditate. If it's prayer, pray. If it's singing or listening to music, sing or listen to the music. If it's dancing, if it's moving your body, if it's walking, if it's reading, if it's worshiping in a sacred community, if it's laying in your bed and just breathing, use what works best for you. One of the things that my mother always reminded me was to ask spirit for help always. And then to listen to and follow spirit's wisdom. And then another wisdom reminder from my mom is to remember to give thanks to spirit for all that you are, all that you have, and all that you do. Practicing gratitude with your breath, just an inhale and an exhale. Honoring that spirit of life in you through the breath. Now taking a moment to bring to mind what spirit means to you. And then taking a big breath in and exhaling that meaning. And then giving yourself a nice juicy hug. Mm. Thanking spirit, thanking yourself. Thanking my mom, Teresa's spirit, thanking each other for being here, coming together in community. Mm. And when you're ready, releasing yourself from a hug, opening the eyes bringing some movement back into the body, wiggling the fingers, the toes, stretching the hands, if it feels good to open and close the hands, stretching your feet, stretching your legs, your arms, whatever works best for you. I know after this, I'm gonna do some yoga. So we have some announcements. 
Next week on November 10th, my mom's 84th heavenly birthday, we have a meditation on self-care. Same time, same place, 7.22 till about 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On November 17th, we're getting together for meditation on service. Those of us that are members of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority or who are connected to Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority know that greater service, greater progress, greater women and a greater world are our mottos and our themes. So get ready for some service energy. Um, you can sign up. You're already signed up if you're on Zoom, but if you're watching this on the replay video, go to anandaleek.com forward slash Teresa to get the videos and to sign up. All of the information is there. I want to invite you, if it feels good and you feel called to, you can honor my mother Teresa's spirit, life, and legacy with a donation to Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority's Spear Foundation. Go to spearfoundation.org to make a donation. If you haven't already, check out a Culture Pearls Legacy podcast. You can just Google it on the famous Google and listen on Spotify. And if you forget all of that, you can find the information at anandaleek.com forward slash Teresa. The link is right on the page. Or if you forget all of that, you can always email me. I want to thank you on behalf of the Leek family for joining us uh, today. This was my way of honoring my mother's spirit. It's a part of my grief journey. So y'all are helping me and I am helping y'all as we honor Teresa. So if you'd like to know more about me and the work that I do, go to anandaleek.com. You can follow me on social media at anandaleek. Email me at ananda at anandaleek. Y'all know how to reach me. So I'm going to stop the recording so that those who want to share can share.